YouTube, it's Thea, and I'm here with my April wrap-up. April, I read a total of three full books and half of a, another book, so I will really quickly show you guys what I read. The first thing that I read is Hellboy uh, and the BPRD 1953. This is a standalone in the like Hellboy and the BPRD uh, series. Um, this volume follows Hellboy and his first adventures in London in the year 1953. It's just five little mini stories about his adventures. Um, and I really enjoyed it. I could have been a little bit longer. There were a couple stories that I wish um, were a little bit longer. So overall, I gave this three and a half stars. I also then picked up The Poet X by uh, Elizabeth Acevedo. I listened to this as an audiobook, uh, which absolutely recommend the audiobook is read by Elizabeth and she's got that like freestyle um that like freestyle rap within the audiobook and it's an absolutely amazing audiobook I gave it four stars if you don't know this is just a uh this is a YA contemporary told in verse following our main character who goes by X as she is discovering that she has a passion for kind of slam poetry and kind of what that means to be, what that means for her family um, and what that means for her mother who is very religious and is, is against it so she has to like hide this hobby that she's doing but I really really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars and the audiobook is absolutely amazing. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This is her newest novel. I was so excited to pick this up because I read Seven Husbands uh, back in December and I absolutely loved it. It was one of my favorite books of, it's one of my favorite books of all time. It was one of my favorite books of 2018 um, and so I was so excited to take this up and read it. Uh, this just wasn't quite as good as Evelyn Hugo. I did really enjoy it. Um, it just didn't, it just didn't have the same, I don't know, there was just something about this that didn't, that didn't hold up to Evelyn Hugo. Evelyn Hugo was absolutely amazing. I gave Evelyn Hugo five stars. I loved it. I know everyone on booktube loves it. And there just was something in this was lacking. I don't know if it was the format. Um, I know the, everyone says the audiobook is really good. I still really enjoyed this story. I just don't think it was as good as Evan Hugo, so I ended up giving this like four stars. And the last book that I started in April but didn't get to around to finishing was Aberat by Clive Barker. This is a, a YA-ish uh, fantasy sci-fi dystopian about Candy Quackenbush who uh, discovers that she discover this unknown world called the Aberat where each island is a different hour of the day and she's just about her adventures and she has is given to she's given a key to she's um is the protector she's the protector of this key that she doesn't know what it goes to or why she's you know what it's for or you know why she's due to protect it but she kind of gets wrapped up in the the world and the characters and kind of starts becoming hunted for this key. Um, I really enjoying this so far. I haven't finished it I'm about halfway through. Um, the writing style is a very descriptive, imaginative writing style. Clive Barker has a great imagination, um, but it's a little slow um, in parts, and I think that just has to do with like the descriptive writing style. So a little par parts of it are a little slower than um, than other parts. So I didn't get around to finishing it, but I'm really, really excited to finish it um, at the beginning of May. So far, it's like a three-star read, but when I finish it, I will definitely uh, include this in my May wrap-up. But as of right now, it's like a three-star read. So these are the four books that I read in April. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys have read in April, if you've read any of these, any thoughts, comments, and opinions about them. As always, if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to get notified of when I post new videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy reading, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.